Are you concerned about buying or selling during the spread of the coronavirus? Watch this video for my five tips on what you should do while buying or selling during the spread of the coronavirus. If you're a buyer or a seller, it can be pretty nerve wracking, either going into someone's house that you don't know or letting people into your home that you don't know. And depending on your situation, you may not have the option just to wait this out. So the key is to prevent community spread of the virus, which is why they're canceling all major sporting events and other big events, because that's where large groups of people get together and community spread is more likely to happen. Luckily, when you're buying or selling, they're just small groups of people that would be crossing over, interacting with each other. However, there's still a chance of exposure, so it's important to implement my five tips on how to avoid the spread of the virus during the buy and selling process. But before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on videos I post weekly. Okay, so here are the five things you need to do as a buyer or seller to help prevent the community spread of the coronavirus. And it's really important to do these things even if you're not feeling ill in the slightest and anybody you know is not feeling ill or people tell you that are in your house or you're going to their house that they're not ill, it doesn't matter because you could still spread the virus and not have any symptoms. Okay, so number one, Avoid shaking hands. During this time, just tell people why and everybody will understand it's not rude. It's actually really smart because it's a sure way to spread the virus if you shake hands with somebody that's infected. And if you don't have tissue for if you're gonna sneeze or cough, make sure to use the inside of your elbow to stop any spray of your germs around, like this. <coughs> Number three, wipe things down that you touch. So sellers, when you get home after a showing, make sure you wipe down common things like door handles, toilet seat handles, sink taps in the bathroom, in the kitchen, railings, and light switches. And buyers, try to avoid touching as many things as possible, but bring some disinfectant wipes for yourself and to wipe off the surfaces that you do touch. And number four, if you're going out for a buyer tour with an agent, make sure that everybody just takes their own car. You're kind of self-containing that way. So you kind of, you know, if you do have something, you're just keeping it to yourself. And number five, don't just rely on hand sanitizers. It's really important to wash your hands as much as possible and make sure you do it for a solid 20 seconds. Think of it like you're about to put contacts in, but you just cut some jalapeno peppers and you definitely don't want that hot stuff in your eyes. And my bonus tip, self-contain. If you're feeling ill at all, do not go out and do not let people come see your house. Showings can be rebooked, no problem. And I'm sure the other party would really appreciate it. Well, if you found this information to be helpful, please click the like button and share this video with your friends. I'll see you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.